Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. This is um, one of the last videos I'm going to be making on this mini PC, this B-Link mini PC that I've been using Chrome OS Flex on for maybe a couple weeks here now. Um, Chrome OS Flex, as you know, in the dev channel, has been on version 104.0.587.0 for quite some time now. And this seems like the longest I can remember without getting an update to Chrome OS Flex. But um, it's been super buggy for me on this machine. I, you've seen in several of my other videos crashes on the Linux containers and just other random stuff. And I've had comments from you guys on the YouTube channel here that uh, you've been having bugs and whatnot too. So to me, this build is just way too buggy. And I also want to uh, take this mini PC and use it for a file server at my house here. So I got one more video coming out, I think tomorrow on that mini PC uh, where I'm going to be installing Shotcut on it since I've had some requests to check out the Shotcut video editor. So we're going to do that. And then after that, I'm uh, going to wipe Chrome OS Flex off this mini PC. And then going forward, I have a uh, new device here that I haven't used yet on this channel. This is a 2015 MacBook Air. It is a Core i7 model. And I think it has 8 gigs of RAM. So this should be the most powerful device that I've put Chrome OS Flex on so far. Except for that, for just a few minutes where I tried it on my Ryzen desktop. So I'm hoping stuff works pretty good on this. We're going to uh, put Linux through its paces on this. I'm hoping it should be able to run some games and do some virtualization. Because um, this isn't a new computer, but it's a fairly good one. Again, that's a Core i7 2015 MacBook Air. But, um... Yeah, I guess the purpose of this video um, is just to complain about the 104 release of Flex in its current state. If you are someone who's using Chrome OS Flex, um, I suggest right now going to the stable branch. Because the stable is, I think, up to Chrome OS version 102, which is a pretty good release of Chrome OS Flex. There aren't that many new features in 103 and 104, nothing worth being in the dev channel for. So at this point, I think Chrome OS is at the point where uh, you're probably better off just using the stable channel. Now, one thing to know, when you download Chrome OS Flex and make the installer, it automatically puts you in the dev channel. So you have to switch into stable um, manually. And to do that, you just go to settings and click on here, click on settings, go down to about Chrome OS. And as you see, check for updates. I'm on the latest as of this recording, which is 104. What you can do is you go to, I think, additional details, and then you can see I'm on the dev channel. You can click on change channel and switch that to stable. Now, switching to stable, I'm pretty sure wipes your device and gives you a fresh install. So keep that in mind. Um, then you just change channel and power wash. It'll do its thing. I think it'll download stable. It'll uh, have you reboot. If you uh, go to about again, you can see that it's updating to stable channel. It has to download that. Then it'll restart. You'll have to sign in again, but then you'll be on a stable build of Chrome OS Flex. And I think it'll work a lot better. As I said, since putting version 104 on this B-Link mini PC, it's been nothing but problems. And I don't recommend anybody to use 104 right now in its current state. And like I said, Chrome OS Flex Stable is now to the point where I think the stable channel is probably fine for most people. Now, when I put it on this, I am going to go to the dev channel again, just so I can keep track of the new features for you guys here on the channel and to make videos about it. But, um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about here. Uh, just to give a final review of this B-Link mini PC, um, you can look at the last couple weeks worth of videos on the channel. It runs stuff pretty good. It runs Chrome OS Flex pretty good. If it wasn't for the crashes, I'd be satisfied with it. All the Linux stuff I tried out, it ran. Uh, it performed better than it did on my Asus laptop that you've seen in some of my older videos. So a mini PC like this does make a good Chrome what do they call it? A Chrome box instead of a Chromebook that you can install Chrome OS Flex on. You can get basic Linux tasks done. You can do some mild Linux gaming. That's, uh, again, the B-Link... What's it called? I think it's called the B-Link Mini S. I got it on Amazon for right around 200 bucks, maybe a little over 200 It comes with a Celeron processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gig uh, M.2 drive. It makes a really good, cheap little computer. It also... By the way, it comes with Windows 11 and does a fairly good job running Windows, too. 
So that's something you check out. I think I'll put a link to this in the description, but this is, um, with the exception of tomorrow's shot cut video, this is the last video I'm gonna do on this B-Link mini PC because uh, I do wanna use it in my house for productive means. And um, yeah, if you guys have anything you want me to test out on this 2015 MacBook Air with Chrome OS Flex, let me know in the comments and I will start making videos on this thing. Because um, I think this should be pretty capable with Chrome OS Flex, and I think it should make a pretty good machine. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I will get to that. I also have a few Linux distributions I'm going to be checking out using my 2011 MacBook Air that you guys have requested. And um, those are Atlas OS, Deepin Linux, Prime OS, Bliss OS. These are some things you guys wanted me to check out, which I am going to be looking into over the next week or so here. And if there's other Linux distributions you want me to check out, let me know. Some of these um, I think are actually Android-based and should let you run Android apps. And so I'm interested to see how those perform. But as I said, we'll get to that in the coming days. So subscribe if you want to see those videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all having a good weekend or week or whenever you watch this. You can see I'm wearing the Summer of Freedom shirt. So I hope you are all enjoying freedom wherever you are, and I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.